Robotics is purely the use of computerized electronic control frameworks to mechanical gadgets and is intended to replace humans in the execution of specific tasks. With the use of AI, its advancement has made these control frameworks sufficiently smart to learn through experience and exchange information. While the expectations of engineers right away give off an impression of being great, the difficulties that AI-upgraded robots possibly present are morally sketchy. They likewise highlight the need to talk about the moral qualities that should be taught to these machines. This talk about the connection between women, technology, manifestation, and all the prospects of the emerging world. Discuss briefly how artificial intelligence and robotics affect women's opportunities in this field. Women in developing countries, especially in South Asia, are seen as accomplishing their domestic work and are underrepresented in the high-level profession. They are disproportionately underemployed and, of course, face prejudice in the working environment. The reason for the study is to decide whether the presentation of AI would feel what is coming on with women in developed countries to help them liberate themselves. While studies on the impact of AI on women have been embraced in involved nations, there has been less examination in emerging nations. Before moving on, how are you liking the video so far? If you are liking it, hit the bell icon for notified updates. The general motivation behind these exploratory undertaking is to check orientation and women's activist issues and artificial brain power from a creating world point of view. It additionally plans to portray how people in non-industrial nations respond to the possibility of having robot lovers, mates, and partners in their day-to-day -day existence. A vignette exploration was led with 125 female and 100 male workers because of the absence of commercial availability of such robots. The production of humanoid robots with artificial intelligence and for sexual purpose has created a few discussions inside bioethics in which direct contending views have been introduced. Topics like sexuality and its deviations, the objection of women, the social issues of contemporary life, depression, and even the reproductive future of the species constitutes the arguments which have emerged about the subject. In light of these topics, it also presents the present status of the utilization of female sex robots, the bioethical issues that emerge, and how bioethics could act as a medium for both contemplating and settling a portion of these difficulties. The developing utility of robots has been a distinct subject in the media and entertainment industry for some decades. While originations of cutting-edge humanoid robots are an extensive rundown of sci-fi works, whether in literature or in the film, as for female robots have started to show up in these long periods. The development of female. Robots make us think about the future of humankind, our body, our generation, and eventually our association with one another and what makes us human. Thinking about the motivation behind these technological advancements might assist us with better figuring out the ethical implications of their use. And to think about these implications is also to think about technological development changing our lives and the embedded values. Since women are seen as warmer and bound to encounter more feelings than men, the female gendering of AI objects contribute to humanizing them. Warmth and experience are surely seen as key characteristics to being a full human, yet as deficit in machine. Drawing on speculation from dehumanization and generalization, we show across five studies with a complex example of an excess of 3,000 members that women are seen as more human than men, generally in contrasted with non-human substances, creatures, and machines. Female bots are supplied with more positive human characteristics than male bots and are seen as more human than male bots, contrasted with the two creatures and machines. The derived humanness of female bot increments saw the uniqueness of treatment from them in a well-being setting, prompting better perspectives towards AI arrangements. We utilize a few unique proportions of humanness compared with the two creatures and machines. For instance, to measure the blatant humanness of female and male bots compared with creatures, we utilize the ascent humanization scale based on the classic March of Progress illustration. We explicitly asked online respondents to demonstrate how developed they saw female and male bots as utilizing a continuous movement from old primates to present day people. To measure the blatant perceived humanness of female and male bots compared with machines, we made a scale that measures blatant mechanics humanization by imagining man's development from robot to human. 
We made both female and male form of every one of these scales. Different measures caught a more subtle and implicit impression of humanness by requesting respondents the levels of feelings they ascribe to male and female bots. A few feelings are said to recognize people from machines. For example, friendly, fun-loving, and different feelings to recognize people from creatures like being coordinating, respectful. At last, we additionally use an implicit association test to investigate whether female bots are more likely than male bots to relate to the idea of human instead of machine. The Ghost in the Machine While we observe that women and female robots are seen as more human on a large portion of the subtle and all the blatant and implicit measures of humanness, we likewise observe that men and male robots are perceived as more human on the negative elements of the hidden proportions of humanness. Taken together, these outcomes show that female robots are not just enriched with additional positive human characteristics as male robots are kind-hearted. However, they are likewise seen as more human and are supposed to be more inclined to think about our daily requirements in a service context. These discoveries might highlight another conceivable clarification of why female bots are preferred over their male partners, with individuals leaning towards intelligent female machines in light of the fact that such machines are all the more emphatically connected with humanness. Assuming femininity is used to humanize non-human human entities, this research proposes that dealing with ladies like items in AI might lie definitively in acknowledging that they are not. The popular assumption, though, frequently referred to as dehumanization speculation, is that it is important to see individuals as creatures or instruments before generalizing them. All in all, dehumanization will be essential for externalizing to occur, with focuses of typification regularly being denied their humanness. Despite this predominant view, the change of ladies into objects in AI could happen not because ladies are seen as subhumans, but because they are seen as godlike people in any case. This examination depends on what makes individuals human, contrasted with machines, to be more likely to comprehend the deep foundation of the inescapable female gendering of AI. Since sentiments are the actual substance of our humanness, and because ladies are seen as bound to encounter sentiments, we contend that female gendering of AI objects makes them look more human and bound to think about our special requirements. Notwithstanding, this course of changing ladies into items could prompt lady generalization by conveying that ladies are articles and straightforward devices intended to satisfy their proprietary's requirements. This may fuel more lady generalization and dehumanization in the non-advanced world. This examination accordingly features the moral problem looked at by AI originators and policymakers. Women are supposed to be changed into objects in AI. However, infusing the ladies' humanity in the AI objects causes these items to appear more human and adequate. So, what do you guys think about this video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. All right. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more updates.